Hello, my name is Tierney and today we're going to cover how to place a donation request at TechSoup Canada. So we're on TechSoupCanada.ca right now and the first thing I'm going to do is log in using my username and my password. And if you don't know your username, um, you can just give us a call. If you don't know your password, you can just do a password reset. So now I'm logged in. Before I go to start uh, trying to order any products, I'm actually just going to check what products my organization is eligible for. So I'm going to find that under the My Organization tab, and I'm just going to scroll down here, and I can check that overall I'm qualified, and I can see a full list of the programs which I qualify for. So today I actually want to order Adobe Creative Suite, which just came back in stock. So I'm going to check that yes, I'm qualified for the Adobe program. So now it's time to go find the specific product that I want. So I'm going to look under Browse Catalog and by Donor Partner. I could have also looked by Category or for Microsoft products, we recommend the Microsoft Title Group option. And now I'm going to choose Adobe, because they're the ones that make Creative Suite. So uh, we'll see right away that there's actually four different Creative Suites. So I need to make sure to pick the right one. So I'm, I have a, ma uh, a PC, Windows computer. So I want to pick the Windows one and the one that's in English. There's also Mac and French options. So here we go. This is the product. Uh, it has an admin fee of $158. And so I'm just going to quickly scroll through and, uh, and read all of this here. It's important to read the whole thing, check that my requirements are right um, for, for my computer, all of this stuff. And now, once I'm ready to order, I am going to pick, I'd actually like two because there's another one of my coworkers who would like one in my organization. So I'm going to pick two and I'm going to add to cart. So that's all that I wanted to order today. So I'm going to go straight to my shopping cart. Um, however, if I wanted to order uh, other products such as Microsoft or any of the other programs I'm qualified for, I could add these to the cart. There's a couple exceptions, um, but for the most part, you can have a mixed order with as many products as you want. Now, I'm ready to check out, so I'm going to go ahead. And before I check out, I have to check a couple of, of warrants. So first, I have to check that the administrative fee is not refundable. So this is very important. We can't do any returns or refunds on most of the products in the donations program. So I need to be really sure that I've got the right thing. In this case, I am. I also need to be sure that this is a Windows product and it won't work on a Mac. So again, um, I run a Windows computer, so that's OK. But they, they won't work uh, on one or the other. So make sure to get the right one. So now that I've read that, I'm going to check restrictions. And I've got this error. We were unable to qualify your order. A restriction error was returned by the restrictions engine. <coughs> so the reason we usually get this error is because I've done something wrong with my allotment. I've exceeded the allotment that the donor partners have set out for me. So in this case, I'm trying to order an Adobe product. What is Adobe's allotment and how have I exceeded it? So the best way to find out this kind of information is to look under help and support. And in this case, there's actually a page called how much can I order? So let's go visit that and see what it has to say. So if I look down on this page, um, here I find right at the top is Adobe. Now I can see here that Adobe has an ordering cycle from July 1st to June 30th, and that within that time I can get one creative suite or four individual products. Now I was trying to order two creative suites, so there we go, that's why I've exceeded my allotment. So I'm going to go back to my cart, now that I know what's wrong, and I'm going to take, unfortunately I can only get one right now, and I'm going to update my cart. Now that we've, uh, we've done that, now let's give this another try and it should work now because I am within my allotment. So again, I read these carefully and uh, check to make sure my order is okay. And this time it is, excellent. So now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna check this information. So the most important is this email address. Most of the products in our donations program are download only. Uh, we're not gonna send you any disks or anything like that. You'll get an email with instructions on how to download the product. So it's important that this email address is correct because that's where all my licensing information is going to go. Now, I have two options to pay. I can pay by check or I can pay by credit card. Most of you will only see the credit card option um, because this is what we highly recommend. It's the quickest way to get your, get your software and it's the best way to get your order processed right away. 
Now we do understand that there's a few organizations that aren't able to use this option. So if, if that's the case for you, give us a call and we'll enable check payments on your account. Now the downside of check payments is that we can't actually reserve the product you, uh, you ordered until you send us the check. So for products that tend to go out of stock, like Adobe products, um, there is a risk that it will go out of stock before we get your check. And that tends to take two to three weeks, it's just as long as it takes you to send it to us. So again, uh, only use this option if you really need it. Uh, so now I'm going to choose to review my request and uh, I'm going to check the final quantities. So I've, as I said, the admin fee is $158. I'm in Ontario, so tax has been added. So this is my total and that's what uh, my credit card is going to be charged or that's the amount that I need to make my check out to. And uh, I'm checking everything else is correct and I'm, it looks good, so I'm going to submit my order. Now, my request is complete and so now I'm going to check my email inbox where I should have received an invoice right away uh, for this order that I just placed and in the next week or so I should get my licenses for Adobe. And that is how you place a donation request at TechSoup Canada.